did not even realize that I left you on. Um, I'm sorry. I just got like a knock on my door and I went to go check it and there's like nobody there. So that's like kind of weird. And I'm really sorry about that. You got to see my ceiling. Okay, we're just gonna let that be. Anyway, I only have one more thing to show you after the book. So we're just gonna get into that, okay? I went to room 21. I went to Rue 21. Desi just got a new bowl and she's using it, so it's really kind of cute. You want to say hi? Here, I'm gonna. So, there she is. Those are the new bowls she was just using, and I'm not used to the sound that she makes with them. Say hi. Say hi. There she is, using her. Not really using her bowl, maybe. Come on, use the bowl. She's kind of iffy about it, as you can see. When I put them down, she was kind of mad that I took away the old ones. But I like that one better. Okay. Sorry about that. So, um, this is part two, I guess, because I didn't realize I shut off the other one. Really weird. I, uh, thought I heard somebody knocking on the door. I went and I checked it out, and there's nobody there. A little creepy, but we'll deal with it. Um, I only had one more thing to show you after I showed you the Lady Gaga book from, uh, Five Below. And that's from Rue 21, which I'm really loving this store. I can't wait to go back next week. Only because they're having a massively huge sale going on. And there was a few things that I wanted to get for my vacation, but I didn't because I didn't want to break the bank. So I'll be going back and getting the last of those. So the first thing I got was this tunic-styled tank top. It is a blue leopard print. And as you can see, it's got this really pretty crisscross pattern, which I really like weird cutouts and stuff like that. Now, it was originally $11.99, but I paid $3 for this, so I think that was super awesome. And the next thing, I've been looking for bodycon or, like, pencil skirts for a long time. Haven't really found anything that worked yet. Now, I got this really pretty black one, and what's cool is if you fold it down, you got this really pretty lace zebra pattern going on on top, which I really, really like. And they had it on the mannequin up, so it only had like a little bit peeking out, which is also really nice. And this was $12.99. Of course, I got this in a small. <clears throat> and I didn't realize until after I brought it home and tried it on. I got this one in the wrong size, but it's okay. If it's all right, I'm not going to return it. This one was a medium, but if you bought one of the body cons, you got one free. So this was originally $12.99 for re. And this is this gorgeous, gorgeous pink leopard print and I think this would be so much fun to wear on the beach. I'm really looking forward to bringing these on vacation. Um, they're reasonably priced. They're kind of like to me, uh, Rue 21 kind of reminds me of like Forever 21 and Charlotte Russe kind of mixed together. Uh, I'm not really all that impressed with some of their accessories. They feel very, very cheap. Their perfumes are super cheap in price, but they smell really nice. Um, they have a lot of underwear, but I'm very picky about where I buy my underwear and bras from. I'm kind of weird that way. I think most girls are. Uh, but their clothing is, and they have a girl's and they have a guy's line. So Joey, Joey's very picky. He's got very classic. He's more like a Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger style-wise. He likes very simple, elegant pieces. Um, so for him, it's kind of hard to shop like a junior men's section because it's all like graphic shirts with these weird prints and stuff on it. Um, he's really not into all that. Me, I'll wear almost anything. <laughs> um, as you can see, I have this shirt on over my little, uh, summer dress here. This is a cotton shirt. I actually got this on vacation years ago at a shop. Um, it's a local shop where we vacation at. Now, the story behind this was I had on one of the, that day. I had one similar on tied around a very skimpy shirt. Cause that's what I'll do, especially if I'm going out in public in an area that I'm not familiar with. This, it was like a banadu top, and I just had something like this on top with a pair of shorts on, just feeling comfortable. And it had uh, flowers on it, had sunflowers on the top here. So anyway, he saw the top, and he was like, you must have gotten that here uh, a couple years ago. Now, I do not remember where I purchased that top at the time. He could be right, he could be wrong, I don't remember. But I was like, well, I, I, and I told him, I'm not sure where I purchased it. He's like, no, I, I recognize the pattern that you have. So he actually gave me this shirt, and this was like a $35 shirt, and it's all hand beaded. It's got little um, 
shoes, uh, horseshoes on it and these little beads. It's got this weird pattern. This is supposed to be a cowboy on a horse. It doesn't really look like that. It looks like a guy on a camel to me or one of those Star Wars creatures. Um, I jokingly call them croutons. Tauntaun. I think that's what they, how, they, how they pronounce it. I think they call tauntauns. I think it looks kind of like a tauntaun to me. But he gave me the shirt and he told me to wear it in good health. And I, it was nice to see, because I was like 12 at the time, he's like, it's nice to see somebody very young appreciating good craftsmanship. I've always been that way. I thought most people appreciated good craftsmanship. But um, it's a very nice shirt. It's one of the most comfortable shirts, and I love using it as an over top all the time. Just because it's like that little extra pizzazz to it. But, uh, yeah, so that's where I got that. Like I said, I really don't care about fashion and stuff like that. I get things everywhere. But, uh, I thought it was pretty nice. With my little blouse thingy. Anyway, what I wanted to show you was this Dooney and Baroque. Before I forget, because I'm going off topic again. Because I'm still a little freaked out about what happened at inside my door. That's okay. I'm going to be putting in my little toiletries. And my little inside it. I'm not going to be putting any um, mouthwash in this. That's going to be in a separate bag, but um, all wrapped up and stuff. But I think this will be the perfect size for toiletries. I'm really excited about vacation, guys. I can't even, like, describe it. It's actually um, a birthday present for me and Joey from his mother. Um, my birthday's in June. His is in August. And um, because of, you know, my grandfather passing away and stuff last year, uh, we were going to go on vacation, but Joey and I ended up canceling because there was so much going on at that time. It wasn't a smart move to go. So we ended up canceling. We had a staycation instead, which we did enjoy. Um, but of course it's not the same, you know what I mean? We had to take care of family and stuff like that, but, you know, we still enjoyed ourselves. We were still away from work, we got to de-stress, and that was great and all, but, uh, wasn't what we wanted. So Joey's mother felt bad that we had to cancel that, uh, vacation. So she's like, find the room, and let me know the price, and I'll pay for it. I was like, no, you don't have to do that. She's like, well, I felt bad that you guys canceled it and I just want to give you a birthday present you're not getting any gifts this is your birthday present for you and Joey this is gonna be your combined birthday gift you get to go on vacation and I was really stoked about that so I don't have to worry about buying um, the hotel room it's already paid for I just have to bring cash for food which actually the hotel room we're staying at includes two meals so I don't have to worry about even if I bother um, dinner but I'll probably like skip breakfast or lunch and then do dinner out, something like that, and then of course shopping. So I'm really excited about that. Ugh, I can't wait. So guys, like I said, um, as far as big haul, I probably won't be doing that again for a while because of vacation coming up. Um, I'm starting on my Etsy store again. I haven't put anything on Etsy in a while. Um, I do have a Listia and an eBay thing that I do as well that I put. I have things on there currently. If you're interested, um, let me know and I'll give you my um information so you can find me on there uh, I will be listing some Juicy Couture on eBay uh, I will be listing uh, some shirts and stuff on Listia and a couple other like oddball things um, and Etsy, my Etsy account I will be listing some of my jewelry, I do not have any of it with me right now but I will be making a video later, I gotta go and visit a friend of mine who's not doing very well, uh, she's ill but uh, when I come back I will shoot that video I will show you some of the new designs that I have created uh, this is all within the past week, so I'm really stoked about that, and I think that pretty much covers everything. I think I've, like, bothered you. I, I don't know why I say bother, because, like, you choose to watch the video. So, um, not that I'm bothering you, but I think, uh, I've ranted, uh, gone on long enough. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing a purse or a shoe collection video, please let me know. I have tons and tons of wacky and fun shoes. Um, I would love to show them to you. I think that would be a fun video to do. I did do a purse video part two once before. I could never get part one to upload. If you want to see part one, or ha if you want me to reshoot it, please let me know. I have tons of purses that I would love to share with you guys, because you guys know I am, like, a huge fiend of purses. I'll probably bring home a ton from vacation. Um, so please let me know if you are interested in that. Or what's in my bag video, please let me know. Uh, give me some I some more ideas. Other than that, I'll probably be doing like updated collection videos or hauls or well, not hauls like updated uh, basically updated collection videos. I'll be showing you some candles and stuff like that that I I haven't bought any new ones, so I've been good. 
uh, stuff like that, uh, collection videos, I collect like vintage toys and stuff like that. So I'll be doing a lot of collection videos, I'll show you my dragons and stuff, like my fairies, some of my artwork. Uh, no hauls for a while. Maybe I'll try doing a makeup tutorial on here. Um, since my birthday is this month, I am praying that Joey gets me the camera I want. So hopefully we'll be doing high def soon. How nice would that be, right? Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So I'll see you later. Bye.